And developing tonight, city leaders say they need help. The call comes after a mass shooting at the Parkway Gardens complex on the south side that wounded six people, including three teenage girls. CBS 2's Marissa Parr is live from the 3rd District Police Station tonight. Marissa? Jim, police are working still right now, trying to figure out how and why this mass shooting happened. The pastor we spoke to at today's press conference reminds us this happened on a weekend where the eyes of the world are on Chicago with this NBA All-Star game. Police say the mass shooting happened sometime around 9 last night. People were inside an apartment near 65th and King Drive. When someone started shooting, everyone ran out into the hallway. More shots were fired. In the end, six people, two men, one woman, three teenage girls were shot. The victims between the ages of 14 and 23 years old. I have spoke with the families. I was at the hospital today at Stroger. I know a couple of the families very, very well. One of the girls is in our program. Pastor Corey Brooks says he was in the middle of planning a funeral for another young person who was recently shot dead when he found out about this mass shooting. Three are now in critical condition, the youngest just 14 years old. It's a hard pill to swallow for relatives of young people recently lost to gun violence in the city. The hardest thing now seems as a, as a child is to become an adult. It's sad that our young people is leaving us today. It's, it's sad. Right now, police don't have any information on the shooter, but they are still investigating. Live from the 3rd District Police Station, this is Marissa Parra reporting for CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you.